Good morning all of my beautiful subscribers. I have the Kraken X electric reel and we are going to try to deep drop like 700 to 1000 feet with this guy today. Can a small electric reel pull up a fish from 1000 feet? I have no idea. We gonna find out. On our way to Summerlin Key. Time to catch a fish. Yeah, buddy. Now this is dragon blood sage. It's supposed to bring good prosperity, good luck, and bring safety upon all travelers. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wave it around. We're gonna wave around everybody, bring good prosperity, get rid of all of the bad energy. All the bad juju. All the bad juju. Get rid of the juju. All the bad curses on Heiko here, he needs yeah, extra yeah. helping. Yeah, yeah. Give him an extra <laughs> That ain't the sage he's used to. Right. <laughs> and here we go. And that's all it is right, right there. All the bad juju should be clear and free. Let's go catch some fish. Let's go catch some fish. All right, we have hit the swordfish grounds and we got Captain Matt with Marathon. Sport Sp fishing. Sport. Mar out of little torch. <laughs> yeah, out of little torch now. Matt did move, but it's still Marathon sport fishing because Marathon Matt just rolls off the tongue. So nice. It's, it's excellent. So what's the game plan right now? We're getting ready. We're going to pick the baits. And since Corey won, we got a buoy rod and the regular rod, Corey. So which one do you want to put on the buoy and which one do you want on the tip rod? Sure, you just said it, buoy tip. Okay, buoy, buoy tip. Buoy tip. We got a little mahi belly here. Mahi and, belly and, and a little kuda. A kuda, kuda. kuda strip. So we are ready. All right. We're going to rig these bad boys up and get them down there. We found a beautiful weed line out here and there's a couple birds on it. We're trolling some feathers on it. Hoping for a mahi, but uh, no bites so far. If we don't get hooked up here in maybe five, 10 minutes, we'll continue to the swordfish grounds. Fish on, fish on, fish on. The mahi are chewing. The, on, has he jumped on. yet? Hey yeah. man, can you do me a favor and turn my camera on too? Yep. Which one's yours? The one that right there, yeah. Real, real, no lose him, no lose him. <laughs> There's so many cameras, right. what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait. Wait, what is wrong with us? Look, one camera, two, three, four. <laughs> Dan's holding a GoPro. How, what? <laughs> the most <laughs> famous mahi in the entire world. <laughs> hey! There you go. Corey, put the rod in a holder. All right, Corey, Corey. <laughs> no, yeah. He will slap the crap on him. We're going to run. It's going to be 20 to the fourth. He is 20 and a half. <laughs> Woo! All right. Yeah! All right, we got ourselves the first mahi of the day. First mahi ever for me. Woo! Woo. First mahi. All right. All right, there we go. We are about to make history right now because I ran out of weights. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to use Matt, one of Matt's 10 pound sword fishing weights. I, I'm, I'm worried, if, I feel like when I drop this, it's just gonna snap the line. Drop the damn thing. Oh my God, it's going down. <laughs> it's going down like a rocket. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up. All right, coming up. Oh, I think there's a fish on there. <laughs> this is way too much weight for this thing. Oh, I see color. Oh yeah, come on. Let there be a, a fish. We don't know yet. But I'll take we one. Go. I'll be happy with one. More than one. I see one. You got one nice one. Maybe two. Uh, oh, three? <laughs> you got a triple. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh. This, these waves are going to pop the weight off. Grab the weight and pull in here. Wow, all beast. the way up from a thousand feet. He's a beastly. That's a nice Yeah, that's one. a good fat one. Yep. Well done. Nice fat one. Well done. Gotta love the eyeballs on those guys. Mmm. It, it worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Now how many times? Not, I don't know if you want to do that every day, but it worked. You ever eat one of these before? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, you're, you're in for a treat. You're gonna love it. That's a. That's neat. I appreciate you letting me do all this. That's a cheers. 
<laughs> I woke up this morning and all I could think about was fish dicks. And you like fish dicks? Yes. You're a gay fish. No, I am not no gay fish. Just gay? I'm not gay and I'm not a fish. Fish sticks. I figured, let's make some damn fish sticks. <laughs> Why does that word sound so funny? All right, so this is the rosy, the black belly rose fish. And I gotta give a huge shout out. Thank you so much, Captain Matt. And we're gonna make some fish sticks. <laughs> All right, I need to, I'm acting like a fifth grader right now. And I'm gonna make this really fun because I got some actual fish sticks, the Gortons, since 1849, I feel like this is like the OG fish sticks and you know, they're classics and they're delicious. So why don't we do a little comparison? So I was looking at the ingredients and there's only three ingredients, minced pol polak, minced fish, breadcrumb coating and vegetable oil. So there's only three ingredients. I wanna make these kind of similar. We got our breadcrumbs. And then instead of vegetable oil, we're gonna use olive oil. And then there's our fish. Those are our three ingredients. I'm gonna add one more. And that is the South Florida Fishing Channel garlic and onion seasoning available on SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. I'm just gonna give it a light little trinkle McDinkle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some fish sticks. <laughs> we're gonna make fish sticks, all right? And we're just gonna take the skin off of our dicks. <laughs> all right, all right, I swear that was the last one. That was the last one. All right, hey, whoa, 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 buddy. You gotta get off the counter, off the counter. Let's try that again. Do you speak English? Off the counter. Come on, bud. <clears throat> Boop. Don't do it. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, down, not up. Man, that sit down on up. Preheat the oven to 425. Normal fish sticks in here. Let's see what they look like. Okay, they're okay. They look good. So I'll just put a couple of those on here. Mm. Give it a little, a little drizzle sizzle. Not too much. I think that might have been a little too hefty there. Mix it up again. Okay, all right, all right. I'm feeling good about this. And then we will add a second layer of breadcrumbs to bring her home. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I was feeling a little like a bad boy today. So I'm going to put some oil into a skillet here. We're gonna batter up some crunchy gherkins. We're gonna make some fried pickles in the skillet. It's a, fr it, it's a frying kind of day. Oh, damn. They went from white wieners to, to little black wieners. I, I gotta take them out. I think they're done. Fried pickles, I got an idea. All right, I'm gonna videotape them with my big expensive camera. And my editor is going to add some nice music to it. Maybe some nice shots of it. And they're gonna look like a million dollars. What is that breadcrumbs, okay. What is it? No, stop it. No, oh my good God. That looks a little bit phallic. 50 shades of hot dog. Bam, how did that look? All right, if it probably still looked super burnt, but if it somehow looked good, then wow to the power of editing. There we go, fry pickle, first attempt ever. Tastes like a pickle with some burnt bread crust on top of it. Kind of good actually, but it could be a lot better. And for the grand finale, yeah, those look good. They both look really good. Where's my, oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. I'll put all of the fish sticks right on this plate here. We'll give it a minute to cool down, and then I will see you guys in front of the big camera. We're gonna try this out here. Okay, okay, there we go. Nothing like a plate of fried food to end the day on. Let's start with our homemade fish sticks. Okay, a little, oh, flaky, flaky. Not as like, these are like, 
crispy, crispy. And I think that's because there is just a lot more oil in these. But uh, let's try it without any sauce. Oh, oh. all right. Oh. Okay. That is so good. The texture is perfect. It's like melt in your mouth, flakiness in there. You can just, it's a little sweet. It's like a deep water, sweet, white and sweet. Unlike my pickles. All right, let's try a store-bought fish stick and then we're gonna see which one is better, store-bought or homemade. Very different. All right, I'm gonna try this one again. There's a difference in flavor and in texture. This has a very crispy outside and the fish is a little more firm on the inside. And there's definitely a lot less fish in the store-bought one. And then our homemade one right here, so sweet, tangy. Mmm, I would still, I would still pick a huge pile over the homemade ones than over the store-bought ones. But if you want a good fish stick, the store-bought ones aren't bad. The homemade ones just, you could just tell it's fresh fish. Probably a lot better for you, not probably, a lot better for you. There's no vegetable oil in it, you use the olive oil. Makes me wonder what's in their breading. They don't tell you. Their ingredients just say breading. If I could please ask you guys to hit the like button, that would help me so much. See you guys on the next one. Cheers.